how are you feeling about my giant hands always being in the camera? They're huge, I know. Somebody in seventh grade made me very aware of it, and I had a complex about it ever since, but I keep shoving them in front of a camera. There is some sort of therapy needed there. It means something, and this is the hand gesture that's going on below the camera. Ooh, look at that awkward smile. Dare you all not to stare at the crooked picture in the back of this video the entire time. Welcome to the tag video. Enjoy. Hey guys, it is the first Tuesday of the month, so I get to finally do the tag video that I've been wanting to do for months and months and months. This is the one random story tag, and let me lay it out for you, and then I'm going to do the first one, and I cannot wait to see all of the videos you guys do to follow. Kitten hands already. It's going to be a good one. Here are the rules. For this very first video, I'm just going to share one random story of any part of my life, a little snippet or anecdote, if you will, and then you guys get to follow suit. The videos need to be under seven minutes, preferably five minutes or under, and you have to start your video with one sentence or a couple of sentences, you can kind of fudge it, that is like a synopsis or a little like Cliff's Notes version of the entire story that draws everybody in. And then also, each month I'm going to be doing a different subject, one random story. Story. So I will list a bunch below. You guys get to vote on what you want next month to be from the list below. And then you guys, you guys can all follow suit as well. So for instance, if next month you choose one random job story, then everybody will be doing their one random job story. For this first one, I'm not going to put a title on it. I thought we'd leave it open-ended and everybody can just share one of their funnest little stories in life. Okay? Let's go! So for my first one random story, my decolletage bust Literally. No, bust is my face. This bit was once blown up to hugeness size and hung inside of a bank as art with a chicken for like three months. And the story breakdown. I went over to visit Ryan's aunt. She happens to have a small sort of hobby farm and she lives away over the river and through the woods. While I was there, I went to use the restroom. When I was inside the restroom, I noticed that she had a bunch of incubated chicks inside of the bathtub and they all had like the heat lamp and they were just so sweet and tiny. When I looked in the tub, I noticed that all of them were huddled together underneath the heat lamp and there was one little guy who just kept trying to like butt in and couldn't get into the little chick ball of warmth. So I scooped him up and I had him nestled in my hands, but he was kind of squirmy. He didn't feel very comfortable there in my little hand nest that I made. So, holding chick, look down, here, hair move for visual. Noticed a nice little pocket in my top and bloop, in with the chick. Here's our chick. That's where he was. <laughs> then I thought, it would be funny for me to go back out to the family dinner and just not mention the chick is there. So I did. I walked out and was chatting with people and waited until somebody noticed that I had put a very content and now asleep little chickadee down my boobs. Eventually Ryan's aunt, who's a photographer, didn't say anything. She just got really close to me with a huge lens and she stuck it right near my delicatessen and she took a picture. There's just one snapshot and then we all ah ha 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 and I put the little chick back with his little chick friends and they were all very much more kind now and he was content to have been soothed by the warmth of my bosom. She then altered it a bunch. I think she put it in like a distressed window frame and she did a bunch of cool things with it, made it very artful. And she was in a, I think like a street fair of sorts where there was prizes to be won by different artists. The prizes were to have your art displayed in local, you know, businesses. So the businesses signed up to have local artists work displayed in their premises, says. So, I'm pretty sure that bank didn't know what it was getting in for when <laughs> Aunt Kathy won and her photo, bosom buddies, clever this one, hung inside of a bank and I think it was blown up to larger than poster size for three months. Thus concludes my one random story. I want you to do it. I can't wait to hear your stories. Make sure you either tweet me with the hashtag or send it to me on Facebook or message me here. Leave it in the comments if you did it. Let me know. That way other people who are looking for one random stories, you can go look at the comments and see all the people going, I did it. Write I did it in capital letters and then write whatever you're going to title your video so we can head over to your channel and try and find it. I will link a couple of the videos here as well if anybody does it, and I'll see you guys the next first Tuesday of the month! Aunt Kathy actually printed out the picture for me, and I wanted to share it with you guys, but I looked everywhere and can't find it. So, something to look forward to next month. If I get my hands on it, I'll include it in next month's tag video of the one random story tag. Make sure you guys vote below on what you want me to do for next month's story, okay? And then you guys do them as well, please! I can't wait to see them! Bye!